everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video let's not lie let's not joke around let's not mess around let's let's be honest i think there probably is not one morally good character on pretty little liars all of them all of them getting into each other's business you know they're like a whippet you have to catch them first you have to catch me first i'm like a whippet i came up with a list of i don't think i have every character on here i have most of the characters kind of like the worst thing that they've done on the show and trust me multiple characters multiple characters in this list okay should probably have about 10 different worst things that they've ever done the hardest one for me was allison coming up with the worst thing that she's done oh that is not oh that's not. in the sense that no. you know what i mean so i've had to make a list on my phone everyone because <laughs> these people a lot of them should really be in jail and that's me being quite nice death to these people um i'm actually joking uh so first on spencer hello spencer that is such a classic spencer line so spencer on my list i put down the worst thing that she did was kidnap malcolm after toby's little fake death scenario spencer joins the a team to try and get answers about toby's death as part of this during her little stint as a trust me it wasn't very long she kidnapped malcolm malcolm is ezra's son that wasn't actually his son in the end in the episode titled i'm your puppet she actually kind of takes him and kidnaps him um and there's this whole thing like Arya's lost him whatever then in the episode titled the darkest game hannah hannah's babysitting him hannah shows him a picture and it's of spencer and allison and he points to um spencer and says oh that's allison so we obviously assume that spencer told malcolm her name was Alison. I've put that as the worst thing she's done because it is quite literally kidnap. I do believe you can go to jail for kidnapping a child. So that's arguably why I've put that as the worst thing that she's done. All oh, my stomach's rumbling, bear with. Quite literally abducting someone and a child. These are children. Notable. I've put a notable option in the episode titled dead to me spencer's kind of gone off the rails i believe this is still after toby's death and she goes to marion's like grave thing and she like scratches it with a key and she writes toby in it that's a notable answer if you put that answer down i'd still give you a mark you know like to be fair spencer had lost the plot she was going a bit you know um this was before she went to radley and toby had just died so like she was kind of going off the rails a bit however like to deface someone's grave um don't know if i can defend that girl boss because of matt what did marion do to you so next on my list is hannah the thing i put down for hannah is the fact that she pressured Sean into sleeping with her. And when she didn't really like his answer, she crashed his dad's car. So Sean had joined a virginity club and Hannah didn't like that because Hannah didn't really feel loved and it kind of took her back to how her dad treated her and that trauma kind of came back for her. So she didn't really feel, I guess loved or appreciated within that relationship because of the pledge that sean had made however like sean's choice is his choice like if he wants to do that if he wants to wait like that is totally valid and that is sean's personal choice hannah kind of not forced him into doing it they didn't end up doing it but she didn't like the fact that um sean wasn't 
chose to not sleep with her and said no. So she took the keys to Sean's dad's car and ended up crashing the car. So I put that as the worst thing she's done because she didn't really give Sean respect, I guess, in the fact that like that is his personal choice. Do you know what I mean? And that's something, like I said, that's up to him. And instead of kind of talking to him about it, in a respectful manner she chose to kind of do that emily emily doesn't really do too much i don't think in the show her character post post the maya thing to be honest doesn't it's quite bland in terms of like i don't know the stories that were given to her i wasn't really interested and it's a shame because i really liked emily there is a episode once allison comes back and mona has been murdered it's i think it's called through the glass darkly emily reveals that she wants to plant allison's hair in mona's house to set allison up for mona's murder they end up going to mona's house to do this but spencer actually finds a like hidden camera and they that's what they go through like that route i've put this as the worst thing emily has done because i understand allison was very much a suspect However, like, the amount of times these girls suspected so many people of being A, and then it turns out, like, none of these people were A, let the police do their work. (laughs) Like, I think Emily was super, super stressed when Alison had come back because Emily was still obviously dealing with her thoughts about her sexuality. And I think Alison coming back really didn't help uh, Emily's feelings or situation. And I think it probably triggered something inside of her that she didn't want back however setting someone up for a murder that they may not have committed is going a bit too far do you know what i mean um especially like i said like they suspected so many people of so many different things and none of these people ended up being these things that they accuse them of so it's kind of like you've gone zero for ten so far what do you think what what do you think this is going to be the first time that you're right like do you know what i mean so yeah i think planting potential crime scene evidence against Alison probably was not probably was not the smartest move of it all but next we have Alison Alison was a tricky one to do because before she came back she was a terrible human being really a terrible human being she put a lot of these Rosewood residents through a lot of stuff And I think obviously that's why there were so many suspects to her murder because so many people didn't like her. Ultimately, I put down here the worst thing I think she did was the Jenna thing. Blinding someone is very much up there. I've seen a lot of things regarding the Jenna thing in terms of like people were very much like yeah but like Jenna was assaulting Toby and that point I totally understand. However, when Alison went out of her way to do this Jenna thing, it was semi an accident, but she openly planned to do something horrible to Jenna without knowing about this Toby thing beforehand. And to therefore have blinded her is a lot. But also, I don't think we can go down the route of Alison caring about victims. She saw what Jenna was doing to Toby. However, she openly made Toby take the blame for what had happened to Jenna. And I think if we want to go down the route of like, yeah, but Jenna was assaulting Toby, which obviously is, I've, spoiler, that's the worst thing Jenna has done. I don't think we could then go down the route of Alison caring about victims because I don't think that's the case. Alison had any empathy about her regarding what had happened to Toby she wouldn't have made Toby take the blame for it. And I, but then I also understand, obviously Toby was kind of quite creepy. Um, He would occasionally kind of watch the girls here and there, quite creepy. I don't know, if you see something like that happening to someone, I wouldn't force them to confess to doing something as bad as that do you know what i mean i don't know the jenna thing's quite a hard thing to talk about because of there's so many like yeah but this yeah but that like yeah but yeah, but yeah like, you know it's quite difficult to talk about i do think that's the worst thing 
Alison has done. However, with Alison, I think there's multiple things that you can have because I've put here notable answers, bullying Mona and Lucas and kind of giving them, uh, and Paige, basically everyone, kind of giving them that trauma and PTSD. But also she really manipulated the girls as well and she played around with emily's sexuality and sexuality is such a sacred thing that it's like for her to do that it's mm -mm, oh that is not oh that's not. in the sense that no and also i think another one of the biggest things is she basically made hannah adopt her ed she basically created that for hannah and that is just one of the worst experiences anyone can go through so for her to have kind of opened that up for hannah it's like how do you even like talk about that because it is such a horrid thing it's just like there aren't words for it aria the worst thing that i think aria has done um zach who is Arya's mum's kind of new partner for a little bit I think they get engaged he ends up being really creepy to Hannah and kind of hits on her and bearing in mind Hannah is a underage girl okay Hannah confided in Arya in the episode titled Scream for Me she told Arya what was going on and how she felt and everything like that but Arya instead of comforting Hannah decided to victim shame her instead labeled her as the problem because she's always been the problem now to be fair to aria she does apologize for this and it kind of ends up you know aria believes her and, and whatever but i think in the first place when your friend is reaching out to you about something traumatic that's happened the fact that you're not openly talking to your friend in a sympathetic way and you straight up victim blame them we have an issue we have an issue. Ezra. I think uh, Ezra is pretty much certain. Are we going to be shocked at what I'm going to say? Clap if you are shocked, everyone. Mm, okay. Ezra, obviously, the underage relationship with Arya and Alison. So I put here, to be fair to Ezra, and I'm, guys, I am clutching, clutching on straws for this man and i would never defend a man i'm sorry guys like feminism <laughs> what was i saying to be fair to ezra like he didn't really know allison's age and allison like lied to him whatever but like he still did it sorry aria he openly targeted aria because it's revealed that he was writing a book about Alison's disappearance. So he knew her, who her friends were and he knew the age of her friends. So the fact is he knew who Arya was and he can try and deflect all he wants, but he knew who Arya was. And even then, once he found out who Arya was and her age, why did he carry that on? You know the scene where they see each other in the classroom for the first time in the pilot episode? he could have ended the relationship from there and that's that you know and then kind of passed it off as a mistake if you can even do that um but he carried on this relationship throughout the entire series to the point where he married her he married her so arguably i think ezra might be the worst <laughs> apart from the a's i do feel like ezra could be the worst person on the show behavior wise i'm sorry like how are you comfortable doing that toby for toby i've said the worst thing that he did was fake his death so in the episode titled out of sight out of mind toby's body is discovered in the woods however it's kind of a fallout of this which i kind of put on toby because spencer ultimately went not not great not great she kind of went off the rails a little bit a lot actually not a little bit a lot and ended up having to get admitted into radley she obviously joined the a team etc and then toby came back and kind of acted like nothing happened i feel like it triggered a lot for spencer i think it triggered spencer's addiction back to her but also it triggered a lot of her family issues again because her parents didn't really trust her and things like that and i don't think spencer ultimately trusted herself as well for toby it's more the kind of aftermath 
of it. Do you know what I mean? But the fact that he came back and kind of acted like nothing happened and very like, get out of my way. Like, I just want to get on with my life. Like, I'm sorry. I don't think you have the validation for that when you've put Spencer through what you did, you know? So Jenna, um, we've kind of spoken a little bit about it so far, but I've put the worst thing Jenna has done is her assaulting Toby. And in the episode titled For Whom the Bell Tolls, it's revealed that Jenna was assaulting Toby sexually. <laughs> Honestly, like so uncomfortable watching this. Like it was just like horrible to, to watch. But it's revealed that Alison blackmailed Jenna into not telling anyone about the Jenna thing um, or she would tell everyone about what happened with her and Toby. And like, it's just so like, uncomfortable and the fact that toby went through this and he kind of couldn't get out of it and he didn't really tell anyone about it like that is such a horrible thing to put on to someone and she's kind of like trapped him and obviously she comes across as like this girl who needs help obviously because she's blind so if toby is openly mean to her people are going to be like what's the issue do you know what i mean so the fact toby was kind of trapped in it is so horrible to think about and so like i can't even like think about like that whole thing it is it's so disturbing i think it doesn't really get spoken about as much as it should and there's something that happens a bit later on which i want to talk about as well but i don't really think like past like season two i don't think people as in the characters but also the audience speak about it enough like, I've heard people speak about it, but I feel like we should be speaking about it more because everything she put Toby through, I feel like kind of gets kind of like, I can't think of the word, but like through this, the show, it kind of like fizzles out and people kind of forget about it. But I think it's such an important topic to be speaking about um, and to remember that it happened because it ultimately did. And it's one of the worst things I think a character has done on the show. Mona hello mona now as much as i like to say mona is a bit of a girl boss i still think she is i'm sorry the worst thing mona did was obviously being a so she kind of tried to kill the girls tortured them screwed with them that is probably the worst thing that she's done on the show and notably i've put here her making hannah eat those cupcakes triggered the disorder again and i think that was such a point in time for hannah where things just kind of went up bit out of control again and her emotions kind of got to her again so yeah obviously i like to obviously say mona is a bit of a girl boss but we should not forget about what she did but i feel like she makes up for it no i can't say that i can't say that anymore because what mona did was wrong and i can't stand up for her i'm sorry they're gonna come for you and like i can't defend you here i'm sorry because they've got the screenshots they've got the evidence receipts proof timeline screenshots ian the worst thing ian has done on the show is obviously have his underage relationships with allison and spencer and he actually knew how old these girls were so there is no there is not there is no way this man can deny what he did but yeah pretty much ian had a underage relationship with allison and spencer and then also he kind of so jason started the nat club but ian kind of developed it into what it was and he would video girls and he would also get girls to set up their friends to video them um so ian is a jobless individual him along with like jenna and ezra are probably the worst people on the show morally because that leads me on to the next person melissa melissa kind of stood up for ian and she knew about his underage relationships but didn't really didn't really didn't really say anything about it ultimately when everything came out spencer was painted as kind of once again they were just kind of victim blaming her for it and i think melissa instead of wanting ian to take responsibility for it i don't think she wanted to believe it was real even though she had known about allison beforehand um so she ended up defending him 
um for like no reason i'm sorry like i understand her and spencer weren't close siblings i get it but your sister is telling you she is being i don't know if i can say that word here the the g word you know what i'm talking about by this man you're not listening to her she knows that it's been going on same with Alison. So, Melissa, that's the worst thing she's done for me. So, that leads me on to Veronica. Veronica, the worst thing I think she has done, has very much treated her daughters wrongly. I say this, her and her behavior towards Melissa was very positive, and there wasn't really she was always there for Melissa. But therefore, this meant that she basically neglected spencer when spencer needed her mom she would just kind of be shut out and wouldn't be listened to and then once again when the ian thing came out and when the run thing came out instead of you know are you okay spencer it was very much victim blaming and very much like you did this to your sister and like i get it like spencer was not always in the right i get it but also like these are grown men taking advantage of your daughter and you're kind of allowing this to happen because you're neglecting her and you're victim blaming her and i just didn't think that was the way to go similar with peter hastings oh my god i think the worst thing that peter hastings has done is honestly and not keep it in his pants because when i say this man basically single-handedly created the dealer rentis and hastings family tree all he had to do keep the legs closed babe the amount of affairs that he had is crazy and the fact is he had all of these children if he's probably maybe the worst dad on the show bar hannah's dad but i always go back to the fact that jason gets revealed as peter's son and so jason starts the show with like one sister and he ends the show with i think like four sisters and i think one of them is also his cousin or something like it's just so but also peter hastings was a very very bad dad and he basically didn't want to know jason at all and jason was a product of an affair and jason kind of got blamed for it because he didn't love jason he didn't care about jason i think that's really unfair and such an unfair position to put jason in but also he created this environment in his household where everyone had to be perfect and i'm like you're not perfect yourself and i remember this one scene i think veronica's talking about how she found a lump she couldn't tell anyone about it because everyone in her family has to be perfect and i'm like you're literally putting your family through that for what next we have pam i think the worst thing that pam has done was her reaction to emily's sexuality very much was against it and treated her daughter to her views um and ultimately created created so much doubt in emily and in herself it was a really toxic environment uh wayne for example was able to put his views kind of behind him and although he maybe traditionally does not accept that emily is his daughter and emily comes first and they need to be with emily you know but pam just totally disregarded that however i will say pam's character development was really really good and she soon accepts her daughter um and her daughter's sexuality and i ultimately think that pam's neglectful kind of persona during this time i don't know personality whatever during this time ultimately was needed for her character development however i think this is the worst thing she does but also she kind of got maya sent away which indirectly killed maya i can't put too much of maya's death on pam but it did kind of trigger the events that led to maya's death so talking about maya i think the worst thing maya has done was guilt trip emily because in the episode title control a maya talks about um wanting to run away and when emily is a bit like oh that's not oh that's not. in the sense that no. and that she doesn't want to run away with maya because obviously like rosewood is her home her family are here her friends are here she can't just run away maya kind of guilt trips her because emily doesn't want to but also what was i gonna say but also during this time 
she guilt trips Emily and they kind of end on a bad note. But she's making all these videos talking about how much she loves Emily. So I don't really know what's going on there. You know? Paige. Obviously, Paige in season one, episode 15, tries to drown Emily. I believe this was because Emily was the captain or something now. Um, but also Paige was dealing with a lot of insecurities about her own sexuality, which I think had some input into it. But ultimately, trying to drown Emily, whatever that means. Whatever that means. Ella, I've noted two things down for Ella. Ella ultimately allowed Arya and Ezra to continue dating. And I'm just like, I understand Arya was kind of being a bit of a rebel, kind of going against them, arguing against them, whatever. But like, you can go to the police. Ezra is a grown man having an underage relationship with a minor. Just because your daughter is kind of putting on a bit of an attitude, being a bit of a teenager, doesn't mean you can't just go to the police. Ella kind of allowing that along with Byron was very, very weird to me. Like I get like they want to keep their daughter's interests at heart, whatever. But like this is a crime. Like this is not just like a, a phase that Arya is going. This is literally a crime you can go to the police also i've kind of put down the fact that she neglected mike's mental health situation that was going on byron was actually quite valid here i would hate to give a man some praise i really do he wanted mike to get professional help because he had experienced family members in the past who had dealt with mental illness and it was a very dark road so he wanted mike to maybe go to a therapist or something like that or be put on medication but ella was very kind of like no like we'll let him come out whenever and like that's also an approach you can take that's not a bad thing but i think she she kind of dismisses getting help straight away i think it would have been beneficial to mike to maybe seek some professional help but it also re depends on the situation whatever but i think in this circumstance ella kind of neglected it a little bit obviously byron uh byron had an affair with one of his students called meredith he then made aria his daughter lie about it to mike and Ella and then obviously they went to Iceland for the year Alison was missing Arya kind of had to keep it a secret for a while I think he kind of threatened her a little bit in the aspect of like the family will break up and you know you'll be responsible type of thing um, so this man is trash absolutely Mike Mike the worst thing I think he did on the show he dated uh Mona and this isn't a bad thing but it also is because mona was also aria's kind of tormentor and he kind of gaslit aria into like oh like that was in the past she's a different person now and like i get it like i like mona's kind of development a little bit and i also like mona towards the end of the show so mike kind of has a point however like this is your sister's tormentor so like you need to be a bit more sympathetic towards that rather than instantly kind of being like oh you're just jealous like no tom tom is hannah's dad he might actually be the worst dad on the show and that's saying a lot because we've got byron up there and we've got peter hastings on the list you know what i mean it is really a battle of the terrible men and the terrible dads but hannah approaches tom asking like are you gonna pay for my tuition or what <laughs> this man is very much rich he has the money so she's like girl give Hand, hand some money over but tom's like well we didn't plan for this i don't think i, d I didn't think you wouldn't go to college so he's like i'm not gonna pay for it but then he decides to pay for kate's tuition and kate is his new stepdaughter so obviously that creates a lot of doubt in hannah's mind and a lot of he's just a terrible dad and he treated her terribly and he left ashley and hannah for his new wife and stepdaughter without paying any child support there is no help from this man because then this leads to ashley and the worst thing ashley has done is she stole money from esther's s wasn't it esther potter's like bank deposit thing and i've said this is the worst thing that she's done because she stole money from an old woman however like like it was just for desperate measures like i don't think ashley wanted to do it but it was literally like 
they were gonna lose everything and they had no help from tom um and she obviously didn't want to worry hannah about anything so that's the worst thing ashley has done but i don't i don't know sometimes you gotta steal from the rich you know we, we all i'm sorry like i will happily steal from the rich they will not even notice cost of living crisis and all i will steal from the rich because i gotta put me first caleb caleb at the end of season four leaves for ravenswood obviously the writers wrote this for his character but like he was so in love with hannah and all of a sudden it kind of stopped and he left rosewood kind of when hannah needed him the most uh with miranda and kind of fell in love with her a little bit it was just like the worst thing is that he just totally kind of abandoned hannah and then kind of didn't really reach out to her that much but also like like i said like he just kind of fell out of love with her just like that and then he comes back and acts like nothing really happened and then they go they both go on a downward spiral i say this is the worst thing he did the writers did that for him so i don't know how much like i can put on him honorable mention was the whole spaleb thing i tend to forget about it i tend to t i tend not to think about it too much dating your long-term golf ex-girlfriend's best friend is that is not oh that's not. in the sense that that is very much the worst thing you can do to someone like there's rules here there is rules you know you know that scene where hannah's crying because uh caleb and spencer are like having a moment death to this man no i actually like caleb i i like caleb caleb post season six b like after the cc reveal i don't know who this man is he could be walking down the street i'm not there caleb pre that love him love him very very much but kind of like everything else the show got worse after the cc reveal so caleb's character went downhill quite a lot a lot of characters went quite downhill to be honest but yeah, that's an honourable mention. Jason De Laurentiis. I think the worst thing Jason De Laurentiis did, apart from that hair in season 6B onwards, right? Apart from that. Apart from that little scandalous moment. I think the worst thing he did was obviously create the NAT club. And although he was just kind of the one that started it and never really... He didn't intend for it to be what it was. He ultimately gave Ian and Garrett the platform to create these videos on these vulnerable girls. Jessica De Laurentiis. Jessica De Laurentiis openly buried her daughter alive. She didn't even check for a pulse. The body was not even cold. I feel like in that situation, like you would check, but also like I feel like you would see if someone's chest is like rising up and down if they're breathing. Jessica openly just buried Allison alive without kind of hmm. No, let me check. Let me just let me let me just also another mention it gets revealed uh quite late on in the show maybe season seven i want to say one time jessica was babysitting a child and the child ended up passing away under her care however she blamed mary for it and i think that got mary sent to radley and jessica convinced her parents that mary was crazy so jessica's actually really not a nice human being jessica does a lot of bad things mary drake i feel like this doesn't get spoken about enough mary drake actually assaulted peter hastings i feel like and i don't really know why it kind of gets swept under the rug but mary posed as jessica and therefore jessica and uh sorry peter and mary slept together um so peter was kind of tricked into it therefore peter did not give any consent to mary in particular and that led to obviously alex and uh spencer i feel like it doesn't get spoken about and i don't really know why because i understand peter hastings is a horrible human being i get it totally but this is a topic that should not be overcasted by that do you know what i mean like 
we should be able to speak about this and be like actually this was not good this was not it and i feel like there's an issue in the show that male victims maybe don't get spoken about enough do you know what i mean compared to other characters um i feel like this is a really dangerous thing and needs to be spoken about and i don't really know why peter hastings this thing doesn't get spoken about because this is something that peter's gone through that's very traumatic similar to what toby went through but like it doesn't really get spoken about i'm not really too sure why but yeah mary drake did do this and (sighs) man this show and like serious topics do not get on i promise you so kenneth kenneth obviously cut cc out because cc was transgender and i think kenneth sent charles to randley under the you know he her allison as an excuse rather than to do with the real reason and then kenneth gaslit uh jason into being like oh charles was never a real person charles was just a figment of your imagination like i'm sorry like jason has every right to be acting mad about that because like felt lied to your entire entire childhood and you feel like you've you've gone crazy like that you've dreamt this random person that actually was in your life so cc i feel like is pretty self-explanatory cc was a i think she was the most dangerous a she tried to kill the girls multiple times she obviously built the dollhouse which was such a big kind of torture device for the girls so i think cc kind of speaks for herself within like the worst thing that she's done along with alex alex was obviously a alex tried to kill the girls tortured them whatever but also another thing uh she also assaulted toby because she also posed as spencer and got spencer and toby spencer and toby to sleep together obviously toby didn't know anything about this so there's also that which never gets spoken about either noel noel's a character i've spoken about a lot because i like to call him the most relevant irrelevant character on the show because he's always involved in the big storylines but he's also just irrelevant and he's i think he's mostly there to fill the plot points like when the writers need someone that's kind of like a helper i guess let's add noel in there you know so the worst thing noel did was he helped cc in the dollhouse he helped build the dollhouse and i'm pretty sure he helped talk to the girls in the dollhouse why he did this i don't know because the whole point is that like i don't get his involvement like still genuinely like i guess he probably did it for money but it's like get a job the last person we are going to speak about today is ren so the worst thing ren did was obviously his underage relationship with spencer um this is a grown man he knows how old spencer is he knows spencer is still in school um but he still targeted a minor openly then we have the fact that he helped alex drake as a he helped alex kind of pose as spencer he even shot alex to mimic spencer's like gunshot wound that she got um which ultimately you know the girls were tortured by a mentally and physically and he had a helping hand in that i feel like that is it for this video if i have not mentioned a character that you want me to speak about um let me know and i can always do a part two to this video i'd love to hear your opinions about my picks have i missed anything um sometimes things go a bit over my head a bit over my head and i do forget things so if you have other things that characters have done which i probably haven't mentioned make sure to leave them below and i will definitely check them out um but i'd love to hear your opinion overall do you agree with me do you disagree with me let me know um love you guys so much thank you for taking your time to watch these videos uh it means the most to me thank you so much uh make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys